Road trips are so fun! Planning your road trips, however, is sometimes not so fun, can be a little bit arduous, but don't worry, there are some ways to make your planning much easier. I'm Peter from carcampingtips.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Google's My Maps to make the planning for your trip both easy and awesome. First though, before we get to these tips, the first question is, what is Google My Maps and why would I want to use it? Google My Maps is a tool used for creating custom maps, and you can use it for a lot of different purposes. And it's different than Google Maps, the one that you're accustomed to using, because it doesn't have you know, your suggestions to go to this restaurant and it doesn't have reviews. It, is, it just shows very basic location information, but it allows you to create these custom maps, which is perfect for when you're planning a route for your road trip. So there are three ways to access it that I'll go over. Um, if you ever forget how to get there, you can just Google My Maps. Should be the first result, google.com slash My Maps. Um, you can also just enter it into the address bar, mymaps.google.com, and that will bring up all the maps that you've created. It, it, you're able to save those as you go. And then you can also go directly to the URL. Um, if, that's, if you have it bookmarked, it's just google.com slash My Maps. Um, so either any of those ways will get you to Google My Maps. Once you've gone to My Maps, you can now see your dashboard and you can click Create a New Map to get you started and create your custom map wherever you want to. So the first tip to kick us off to make your trip awesome is layers. Now, to explain why layers are so helpful, let's start creating our trip plan and then you'll see very quickly why it can help us out a lot. So let's say we're going to fly into Austin and we're gonna begin our road trip there and we're gonna stay the night in McKinney Falls State Park. I just searched it in the bar and it came up with it, its details and since that helps us out a lot, we don't have to add that in my, manually. I'm just gonna click Add to Map. Great, and then the next day we're gonna go do some rock climbing. So let's go to Raymer's Ranch Climbing. I think it's just, there's no apostrophe. apostrophe. There we go, Raymer's Climbing Parking Lot. All right, we're gonna add that to the map. And then we let's do some paddle boarding. Let's go to Ladybird Lake Rentals. And we see that there's quite a few options here. Let's go to, um, how about Congress Avenue Kayaks? We'll add that to the map. Great. And then maybe we'll do some floating in San Marcos. So let's do San Marcos Park. City Park. Cool. Hey, there's even a tube rental. Let's add that to the map. Okay, so this looks manageable and not too hard to deal with, but imagine that instead of just a few of these locations, imagine if we have dozens and this whole map is dotted with all the things that we want to do in a short period of time. We haven't been to the area. We're doing research. We want to pick the route that's going to be the most fun. And as you can see, there's we have these random locations and we don't even know necessarily what they are, like Rhymer's Climbing Parking Lot. I mean, it has climbing in the name, but maybe some of these locations aren't going to have the full description of what you want. So in comes layers to the rescue. Now we can create another layer by clicking this add layer button. And let's uh, do climbing, rock climbing. And let's do another one, paddle boarding, kayaking. And let's do this original layer. Let's rename this by clicking the menu button, click rename, and let's do this camping slash hiking. Perfect. Now I can drag this from that one layer and let's move this around a little bit. And now we have successfully separated the different activities and we can style these if we wanted to. But now um, this will work great, especially if you're planning a road trip with multiple people and not everyone likes to do the same thing. For example, I know I would totally dig rock climbing, but not everyone in my group would. So we can, if someone, if we wanted to invite others, if we click this share button, you can actually collaborate with others and they want to add things to the map. Um, rather than having this one big layer that everyone adds everything to, you can have multiple layers so that the activities are separate. And so the people who are interested in rock climbing can plan for that 
and the people who aren't um, don't have to. They don't have to see it. And so you can uncheck that, for example, and let's say unchecking paddleboarding so we can quickly be able to separate the different layers for your road trip. Awesome. That will really help your trip stay a lot more organized. Tip two. So I've gone ahead and added all the, the locations that I think we can fit into one road trip. And I'm beginning to see that, oh, we have a lot on our list. And that's kind of overwhelming. We want to see everything when we make our road trips. And there's so much to see. Um, and it's impossible to see everything. And so it becomes extremely important to prioritize your trip. Now, there's ways you can do this. You can do this in the name of the pin. You can just edit the pin and say number one and go through the entire list and number them that way in priority. Um, but one easy way that we found that helped us as we've organized our trips is to just um, prioritize and create some categories and then color code them. So for example, there's a couple locations that you um, uh, well try to separate it into different um, categories such as I have to see this. Like I don't, I, I will not feel satisfied with our trip if we don't see these. Um, so we call you can call that the must see category. And then there's the, it'd be cool, but I don't, you know, it's, if we don't get to it, that that's okay. And then there's the, uh, yeah, I mean, if we're in the area, might as well stop by. So that's three different categories that would, would love to see, um, must see, and then, you know, uh, could see it and it doesn't bother you either way. So if you create these three categories and then you can quickly color code each of these and that will really help you to, to um, plan out your trip. And let's say, I definitely want to make it to Enchanted Rock and let's pick that same color. And let's say you heard Utopia Park was just awesome. Okay, great. Well, these are the three lo camping locations that you definitely want to see. And this kind of helps you set some expectations too because sometimes um, the place that you want to go to is closed for some reason due to weather or, or you know, so unforeseen reasons, or you don't just have time to get to a certain location. So now you have organized it in that, okay, if you don't get to go to the place that you really want to go, you can now see there's other activities that are nearby that you can substitute. And so um, really being able to prioritize these and color code them can really help you to be more prepared for any eventuality that could happen on your trip. Now that you've put together all these places and you've categorized them by how much you want to see them, things that you really just you want to make sure that you get to. Um, now that you can you can start creating a route plan to help make your trip really come to life. So I, I'm going to start here at the Austin International Airport and let's create a driving route. And so you can click on this route button or this draw a line button, I should say, and you can then do add driving route. All right. So if we let's hide that for now. Cool. If we start at the Austin Bergstrom Airport, and then we can add the next destination. Like, okay, well, we're in we're in Austin. Let's go to the McKinney Falls State Park, and it's on our list of things we definitely want to see. So let's do that, and let's zoom out so we can get a better picture of where we're gonna go. So after we've stayed there that night, we definitely want to go paddling that day. So let's make sure and do that, and let's click this golden one. There we go. All right, so we're going to go to the Austin Paddle Shack and go paddling on Lady Bird, Lady Bird Lake. And we figured that's going to take most of the most of the day. And then we're going to go up to, let's go camping in Pedernales that day, if we can get reservations. Awesome. Now, the next day, we're going to hit it hard and go rock climbing. And so let's go to Rhymer's Climbing. Um, Rhymer's Ranch, rather, there's a parking lot that you can start at and... Um, now that we've gotten to these through Austin, let's go, let's go see what's next. Okay. So we know that we definitely want to go to the Guadalupe river and we know we want to get to enchanted rock. And I mean, this is where this functionality really helps because now you can see, okay, these are significant driving distances. And so let's, let's try that. Let's go to enchanted rock the next day. And we can now see, um, the total distance that this is, if we click on the menu in the directions that um, I've clicked and do step by step, and we've already seen, we're already seeing that we have 155 miles, and so that's already three hours of driving time. 
And so that is really helpful for multiple reasons. One, it helps you to budget to know how much money you should be, you're going to be spending on your car rental. And it also helps you to know the time because that's, it's a significant time investment just to get from place to place and also helps set expectations because, you know, you only have a limited time on your road trip. And so making decisions of where to go, um, just the time investment helps you to make better decisions. And so this is a really cool a bill, um, really cool feature that allows you to make make your trip um, really become reality and help you to have the best time possible. All right, with these three tips that we've just talked about, you can make an awesome road trip plan. It can take a lot of work, however, even with these tools to put together a successful road trip and to plan out everything. As you can see, you can spend a lot of time finding the right places and putting it all together. If you want to see some samples of some road trips and get a feel for what kind of road trips, or if you want to steal from this road trip and just go off of what we've already, the work that we've already put through um, to making it, go to carcampingtips.com slash road trip. Thanks for watching and hope it helps.